So I'm on a trail in uh, Northport, Long Island, and I'm walking along the trail and I see something that is absolutely amazing. There's a lot of them, they're not totally ripe, but still even unripe, they're very nice and tart and they would go amazing on top of ceviche. And what it is, is wild blackberries. So there's been a few random ones. I'm gonna keep collecting them as I go. I don't need need many, cause uh, if we catch a fish this week, we'll just slice these in half and put them on top. Like I said, they're very tart. When they get dark, well, blackberries, when they get dark, they're more sweet and ripe. Right now they're very tart, almost, uh, almost like a cranberry, but um, they would be perfect on top of sashimi. So I'm gonna keep collecting. That's a good one. Now when they're totally ripe, I don't know if you can see, but that's, this one here is what they look like. They turn almost completely black but I'm kind of excited for the tart ones. I'll take this guy. This guy's getting eaten right now. Mmm. Oh my gosh. So good. That's like the picture perfect blackberry right here. Doing good. This is like the perfect cluster right here. Yeah, the, these right here are absolutely picture perfect. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's definitely fish going. Woo! All right, we're jumping straight into it. If you watched the first half of the video, I was on a trail. Oh yeah, I was on a trail, found some uh, wild blackberries. I'm working backwards here. And now we're trying to get the fish to go with the blackberries. Uh, I have here, Mr. Vinny Melbourne. <laughs> uh, a lot of you guys- Good to be back, good to be back. <laughs> a lot of you guys mentioned in the uh, comments to open a restaurant and the truth be told, I have one. It's called Greenpoint Fish and Lobster, and my partner is Vinny. Uh, it's in Brooklyn, New York, and you guys should check it out on Instagram, Greenpoint Fish. So we're going to get into this and hopefully hook up with some bluefish. Oh, they're bursting on the surface. It's a little shallow over there. I think I want to go over here. Look at this. Look at this. So this is wild. <laughs> I mean... If there was ever a sign of fish, this is definitely it. We just need, ah, oh, they're right in front of us, person. So this is absolutely wild. We have all the birds going crazy. We're throwing lures and not a hookup. And there's two boats by us and I haven't seen them hook up either. But the fish are actually breaking the surface. I mean, this is textbook. Come on, Vinny. <laughs> All right, we trolled through, we got one on. It is uh, definitely a monster. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be snagged, whatever it is, so. Oh. oh. So this kind of explains why we weren't getting too many. I think they're very, <laughs> I think they're very small uh, bluefish. No, what is that? No bunker. I think it's a trout. Cocktail blue. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> We're in. So bluefish have a bad reputation. People say they're oily. I've done an episode on the bluefish before. They're one of my favorite fish. I even got a tattoo here. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> there you go. Tattoo of bluefish. One of my favorites. We're going to dispatch this guy, put him out of his misery. And I think we will troll through there again because they are going off right now. All right. First fish on. Now we're going to troll for some more. And if you notice too, if any has a custom cooking with clams hat, <laughs> those will be available soon. The finest in fishing apparel. The finest in fishing apparel. Look at over there. <laughs> so bluefish are three per person bag limit. Uh, there is no size regulation. They used to be whatever, no regulation on them at all, but they just changed that. So it's three per person. We're one in, we're allowed six. Uh, we're gonna troll through that mess of birds again, just to see if we can get another one on. Um, and then head out and look for some fluke or porgy, or black sea bass or stripers, we'll see. So the blitz ended, we got only one uh, bluefish in the boat, but now we're gonna do some bottom fishing, fluke, por porgy, or uh, hopefully sea bass or striped bass. But uh, us and every boat in Queens <laughs> decided to come out here. So, you know, it's a, it's a nice day out here and it's a Sunday, so wouldn't expect any less. But uh, let's get to it. All right, remember to breathe. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at that. That's a good one. Should I hold it my patented Milburn way? <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me. Do you know the regulations on porgies? Nine inches, and this is way over nine. Oh, that's way over nine. That's perfect. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> All right, another one in the bucket. Uh, been slow, we're chipping away, but you know, talking a lot of smack and having fun. I was uh, getting waked out by every boat that comes through here. I'll pretend like this. Come on, come on. Freaking dogfish. Dogfish. So a lot of people up here, when they first see these, they think that they're sharks. They are not sharks. They are. Are they called smooth skin dogfish? Yeah. And what they actually get used for? They are edible. Oh, we're definitely dragging. <laughs> All right. Uh, they send them over to England for fish and chips. But Vinny and I have tried them. They're okay. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Tina, what do you got? It's gonna be a dog. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> it's not fighting at all. It's probably a giant stutter crab. Dogfish. It's, just, it's, it's the same one. <laughs> it's the same dogfish you just caught. Oh my god. <laughs> got the pliers. Wait, I'm not kidding. That's it is the, the same, same one. Dogfish. That's the same dogfish you just caught. He didn't learn his lesson the first time. <laughs> That's not what'd a dog. You, what'd you get there? <laughs> that is. Wait, hold that up, please, because that's an enormous porgy. That is huge. And what I have in the water right here is the same dogfish we've caught now. I think that's that's the fourth time that I've caught this dogfish. So I'm gonna take him off, but look at this size. <laughs> hey, in the bucket. Look at that thing. All right, that is, by porgy standards, <laughs> that's a monster. <laughs> All right, so we're not crushing them, but you know, we're, we're, we're eating, that's for sure. So we got two porgies and a bluefish so far, and uh, a lot of dogfish. <laughs> Well, not, one, dog one dog fish dog over and over times. again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dog fish. Oh, 
God I damn it. The way, I can tell the way there. Oh, come on. We're all dogged up. It's all time right. to go back in the bay. Yep. All right, we're moving. Hit the like button. Remember to subscribe. <laughs> That's right. So the last time we were here, it was a pretty gray, cloudy day. It was Vinny and I, and that's uh, going back. That was the Porgy episode and uh, Weak Fish, I think. Yeah, Weak Fish and Porgy, but much, much nicer day today. But I think this is going to be our last drop. We got the two Porgies, the Bluefish, a little bit on the slow side, but still a good day. 400 dog fish. <laughs> <laughs> and enough enough dogfish to make fish and chips forever. Now the only reason I didn't keep the dogfish, had we caught them first, I would have kept them. But there was no reason to keep them. We have enough in the boat to feed us. At this point we're just seeing if we can pull up a fluke or uh, another nice porgy. They, oh! <laughs> another beast of a porgy. You are the porgy slayer. Now, I'm only gonna use the bluefish. The uh, porgies, we're actually gonna eat them on another meal, but the bluefish, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna wrap it in a paper towel to try to firm up the meat a little bit, and I'm gonna make sashimi out of it. Now, it's not normally a fish that you would use as sashimi, um, but if treated right, like we did on the boat, we brained them, bled them, and got them on ice right away. So, I mean, even that bloodline's not that bad. And uh, I'm going to make aqua chile and sashimi bluefish, and we'll use those uh, blackberries that we found the other day. It's perfect. So what we're going to make, I mentioned it before, for our uh, bluefish sashimi is agua chile, which translates to chili water. Um, traditionally, it is jalapeno or... Uh, sereno peppers and cilantro, cucumber, water. Um, we're pretty much going to keep it pretty close to traditional, except we're going to add a little bit of tequila. I wish I had mezcal because that would add such a nice flavor, but we'll settle for the, uh, for the uh, silver. Now I have here one cucumber.
one clove of garlic. I have jalapenos. So jalapenos I find sometimes you get them they're not spicy at all other times you get them and they're like blow the roof off the house so that is very in between so I'm gonna add the whole thing plus one and cilantro stems and all Now, traditionally, agua chile is usually with shrimp, but we're doing it with our raw bluefish. And raw bluefish, I mean, most people don't even like eating bluefish, let alone raw bluefish. Uh, it's good. I'm telling you, as long as you take care of it, as long as you treat it correctly and prepare it correctly, it just, it has a strange tint, which we'll get to in a second. But if you let it sit over uh, overnight, the bloodline turns a brown. And that puts a lot of people off and the meat itself has a bit of a grayish blue color. But let me tell you, it's incredible. Now I have two lime. The red onion's actually for later. So I'm gonna put that aside. These are actually really nice limes. We're pretty much making a spicy margarita <laughs> to go on the plate. And our tequila, just about a shot. That's a shot if you come from Key West, anywhere else it'd be about half that size. And I have some Hawaiian sea salt, any kind of sea salt would work. I just happen to have this one for my trip. And now, depending how thick you want it, it's up to you. Sometimes I've seen agua chile where they're like a really thick, almost like tomato saucy. Other times I've seen them where they're very, very thin, literally chili water. So we're gonna hit somewhere in between there. So we'll give it a blend and see if we need to add a little bit. I have water on the side in case we need to add any water. That is what we want. That is the little green flecks in there from the uh, cucumber skin. That's why I left it on. Let's give it a taste. That second jalapeno was hot, <laughs> but in a good way. That is really, really nice. Now, this is a little bit warm from blending it. So what I'm gonna do, throw it in the fridge and I'm actually gonna throw a plate in the fridge. Then when it completely cools down, cause you want this dish to be served ice cold. When it cools down, we'll bring everything out back here. We'll slice a fish and we'll plate our agua chile. So I have my blue fish. And like I said, I put it in a paper towel. I actually changed the paper towel once overnight. And it just takes out that excess moisture. And let me show you what you are left with is absolutely gorgeous. And it firms it up. So that blue fish, they can tend to be a little bit mushy, um, but this helps them out a lot. So, I put my agua chile in the fridge, cooled that down, had a plate that was in the freezer. Obviously this is a little bit better to do inside a house with air conditioning, but hey, it's too nice of a day outside, but it is hot. So I'm gonna cover my entire plate with this. And that really is on its own, very, very pretty. It just has the little green specks in there. And when we put everything on there, this is gonna look absolutely beautiful. Put that aside. And now to slice my fish. God. 
don't know how people don't like bluefish. It doesn't make sense to me. As I'm plating this, I can smell the cilantro, lime, and cucumber, and it is a very good smell. Save that tail end piece, cut a couple more off of this to fill out the uh, fill out the plate but we're gonna save the scraps now a little bit of red onion thinly sliced couple of cilantro leaves and of course our blackberries nice and tart you don't need to cut those or anything and then a little bit of coarse sea salt just to finish this off Going to run these inside, grab my mom, and then we are going to taste test. But this is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to taste this. All right, let me go grab her. Should all know my mom by now, Mama Clams. Hi. Fortune in the sun, you're nice and hot. Okay, woo, yeah, hot <laughs> So the plate was in the freezer. You have agua chile, which means chili water. She sampled some earlier. I will admit I added a little more cucumber because one of those jalapenos was whew, through the roof. But... I'll agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I added a little more cucumber to mellow it out. So dig in. And those are the blackberries from the trail. At Comset. No. And, oh. uh, I forget where, but mm. oh yeah, the onion gives it a nice crunch. It's tingly, but it's yes, not as bad. <laughs> not as bad as my first. But taste. the bluefish. The bluefish is perfect. Would you it's ever? Succulent. Would you? Would you ever think to eat bluefish raw? No, and the berries give it that nice sweet uh, taste. It's really good. Yeah. Very nice. That's good. I would rather be eating this inside because it would have stayed a little bit colder, but chilling everything down, it's right now, it's on the brink where we're coming close to where it's gonna start warming up. But that bluefish. Yeah, it has body to it. Um, yeah, it really goes very well. Very nice. And the tequila. The tequila is the secret ingredient here. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, the spice isn't bad now. No. All right, I'm glad I added that cucumber. <laughs> See, you always have to taste and be able to adjust. And I was the guinea pig for the first taste. My <laughs> tip of my tongue. I don't think it's forgiven me yet. <laughs> well. But this is delicious. Well. All right. Very, very nice. Very nice. You like when I come home. I certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I have more? <laughs> yeah, please. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this episode, hit like, subscribe, share it, and we'll see you on the next one. Please, and thank you. <laughs>